Whether it's a dorm room or an apartment, they're usually pretty basic. You can take something like this, which is a closet that's just inside the door and everybody gets to see it, put a remnant curtain on there with a simple curtain rod and you've got a complete upgrade of this closet. And if you need another rack, don't go buy one of those real expensive $25 or more shower curtain racks that may hold the weight. Get a chin-up bar for 17, 18 bucks that can hold 440 pounds of weight. The ceiling here is a little less than seven feet. The curtain itself is seven feet long and 43 inches wide. This space here is 37 inches. You're gonna need a shorter curtain rod, not the typical curtain rods that you find in the store. This one here adjusts from 27 inches to 40. I'll show you later on the window, I'm gonna use the other side of this curtain, which I picked up for about $5 as a remnant. These curtain rods here, this one costs five bucks, the one on the window, about six or seven dollars. They're shower rods in their pressure fit, which means you're not gonna to have to drill any holes in there and worry about paying some sort of fee at the end of your lease or at the end of your dorm time. So this is a really good option. So let's get started. This really only takes a couple minutes. Now I'm gonna take one end of it off. I'll do this end. I'm gonna get this curtain here and you want the end that's got the hole in it. Some of them have two holes, one at the top and the bottom. And of course, since I'm on the camera, it's gonna be persnickety. Okay, so there we go. Just put it on there. Getting up here, I'm just twisting it tight. It's gonna be a friction fit. You want it right on the edge there. As you twist it, it tightens up. Run this over the end here, and then you take this little plastic piece and fill that gap in there like, like that. I mean, you can't hang on the thing, but you could put you know, probably 10, 15 pounds on it and it will certainly be good enough for what you're doing here, which is just having a sliding curtain rod. And when you want it open, you just leave it like that. And when you want to close it, there you go, closet curtain. So not everybody gets to see your stuff. The same application that we used on the closet, we can use on this window. College students like their privacy and they like darkness so they can sleep in. I know, good luck with that when you get older. So I've already tested this out and made sure that it fits. Once again, just pushing it in there, lining it up as straight as possible, and then just adjusting it in the blind. He can adjust it later if he doesn't like the way I've got it. And you've got a great curtain here. And when you want a little more light, you just slide the curtain down this way. So there you go, a little bit of adjustments off camera. Got it perfect. Friction's on there nice and tight. Turned, turned the curtain around. And now you've got room window darkener so that my college kid can fall asleep night or day. And when they want some more light, just pull this to the side. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like home repairs and quick fixes, designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.